I know a lot of my customers are going to be wondering, because I've got a thermo cooker, do I also need a slow cooker? Should I be investing in this book as well? And frankly, my answer is absolutely yes, because at home, that's how I cook. I have many thermo cookers, let me tell you, but still, I am always using my slow cooker but they actually make a really nice pair. And this is how I'd encourage you at home to think about it. So often in my recipes, I'll say saute an onion and then transfer it to the slow cooker. If you've got a thermomix, put your onion in, chop it for five seconds on speed five, scrape down the sides, add some oil, saute for five minutes, 100 degrees to speed one. Add that to your slow cooker. Then you can add all your other ingredients in, let them slow cook away. Often I'll say puree something, um, either before it's added to the slow cooker or after. You can absolutely use your thermo cooker for this. You can transfer your ingredients from the slow cooker into the thermo cooker and puree or vice versa. Of course, if you don't have a thermo cooker, no problem. You can use a stick blender or a food processor um, or a high power blender. But of course, the thermo cooker is going to do an excellent, excellent job. Often with the slow cooker, there's nothing the thermo cooker can help with. But sometimes at the end of a recipe, I'll say, you know, fold through some milled cashews or something like that to like really thicken up your curry and make it really rich. If you've got a thermo cooker, you can take raw cashews from your pantry, mill them up for 10 seconds on speed 10, and you've got fresh cashew meal to use in your slow cooked recipe. I really think these two partner very well. And there are some things that, you know, the thermo cooker just doesn't do as well and the slow cooker does. One of those is bulk cooking, absolutely. But there are a few more. You know, I really like cooking my dried chickpeas, my dried lentils, that kind of thing in the slow cooker. I also cook a lot of pastas in their sauce in the slow cooker. And that is something you absolutely cannot do in your thermo cooker. So, you know, when the thermo cooker's the best thing to use, that's what I use. And when the slow cooker is the best thing to use, that's what I use and it's those recipes that are in this book, Modern Slow Cooker. So to all my Thermo customers out there, I highly, highly recommend this book as well. And a quick note to all the TM6 customers. I know the TM6 uh, has a slow cooking function and a lot of customers have asked me whether they still need a slow cooker when they've got the TM6. And frankly, I think the answer is yes, unfortunately. The shape of the TM bowl, um, the tall narrowness of it, the fact that it's actually quite small compared to a six and a half liter slow cooker, the blades create a lot of complications when slow cooking, even with the blade cover, having that distance between the solid food you're cooking and the liquid, I find it really doesn't perform anywhere near as well as a slow cooker does. So when asked the question, do I need a TM6 and a slow cooker? My answer is still absolutely yes.